Hello everybody, this is Michelle Litwiller here with Owl Star Stampers. It is Wednesday, August 28th, and I am here for your weekly Facebook Live. If you are catching the replay or watching me on YouTube, thank you for joining, and don't forget you can subscribe to my channel and like my page if you haven't done so already. So tonight I am going to be making a really cute card with this stamp set called Ride With Me. So that's why it is out. And this stamp set is in our annual catalog. So I am just seeing some friends hop on. So hello, uh, what did I just say? See, hop on. I'm trying to get my phone up because sometimes I can't see the comments on my computer. So, oh, Tammy. Hi, Tammy. Hi, Karen. Hi, Denise. And hello, Deb. Thank you for joining me tonight, ladies. And uh, thank you for uh, clicking that button in the corner so your friends and uh, whoever can craft with us. Okay, so fall is upon us. At least here in Michigan, I can feel the weather is starting to change. I'm not sure about everybody, but I can definitely feel it changing. And so last week I did my farmhouse card with the, the faux shiplap. Let me see if I can find it to show you. Yep, it's right here. So I showed you this card last week. And so I'm still on a fall kick. So I thought we would use this stamp set with the pumpkins here to make another card. So that's what we're going to do. Um, hi, everybody, for hopping on. Thanks for joining me this evening. And thank you, for thank you, Donna, and thank you, Tammy. I appreciate it. Okay. So if you like fall, um, let me know what your favorite season is. I love summer and fall here in Michigan, and I know everybody has a different season. So if you're on here watching, you can tell me what your favorite season is and maybe where you live. So this card that I'm going to, to we're the, going to make tonight, I don't have it completely done yet. But that's okay. I have a lot of the parts and pieces done so that you don't have to watch me the whole the whole time. And I will have a ordering special tonight too if any of you want to order this stamp set or bundle or anything for that matter. So you can stick around for that at the end. Oh, I'm just I'm just reading your comments. I see spring and fall. Tammy and Deb loves summer and I see another fall. So yes, yeah, summer and fall are my favorite. Okay, this is in, again, I said our annual catalog, which I do not have. I'm looking around, scanning the room. I can't see one here, but it is in there and it comes with these really cool dies. So let me show you the dies. The dies are called... Uh, truck ride dies and this is what they come and so it comes with a few little circles to cut out wheels it comes with this to cut out the um balloons there's some balloons there's a tree that it will cut out the pumpkins and then the d various pieces for the truck here and then this giant thing cuts out a 3d truck that you can assemble so I ordered this. I really loved that cute country like Christmas truck that we had last year. It was different and smaller. And this is one we have this year. So I bought it. And let me just show you. I ran it through my Big Shot and it comes out flat. I kind of started uh, folding it to see how it would go together. It's really cute. Before you put it together, you actually stamp uh, these pieces onto it. And then you would use the liquid glue they recommend that green this glue right here to assemble this cute little truck but anyway that's not what I'm gonna show you but I did start playing with it and it looks really really cute but it, I thought it was gonna be actually a little bit bigger but um, you can put 
some fun stuff in the back of this. And you can make these trucks any color or you could just cut off this top here and make some really cute things with just this piece as well. So this is what this piece makes a 3D truck. And tonight we're going to make a card. So let's get started. I see lots of you on here. So thank you for joining me and for sharing and all of that fun stuff. So we're going to start with a card base of Thick Whisper White. So I have five and a half by eight and a half and it's just already scored in the middle. And I did go ahead and I stamped a lot of these pieces ahead of time. You can see right here, here is a block with all of my stamps that I used. So the truck, the wheel, uh, this piece that goes over the wheel, my little pumpkins, and then I took out this stamp that says Happy Harvest, which I think is super cute. So those are the stamps. And now I went ahead and I stamped it, and the stamped image right here does not have a die to cut it out. So I just went ahead with my scissors and snips and I cut it out. And I actually stamped this on Coastal Cabana. So you can see here, here's where I cut it out. It's like a, a blue, a little bit brighter blue, brighter than it's showing up on my computer screen. But I um, stamped it in my black memento ink and it came out like this. And then I went ahead, see I already fussy cut it so you didn't have to watch me. And I took my smoky slate, what color? Light smoky slate. And I colored in this piece and this piece with it. And then I went over it a second time. Now my dark smoky slate is at my studio for class, surprise, surprise. And so I just colored that in. I did two layers of the light. And then I went ahead and I grabbed my Stampin' Chalk Marker and I went over the gray with that. So it made it look a little bit, I don't know. That's what I did anyway. The other thing I also did is I cut out the window. So when you stamp it, I'll show you for instance, it stamps like this. See, I was playing around with like trying to see if I wanted to sponge it or ink it up. But uh, I took my snips. I'll show you what I did. And I cut out the window. So I just literally, be careful that you don't stab yourself. But I just went right in the middle. And then I went to the edge. And then I just started cutting. I just cut it out. I didn't, I left the black line there. But you'll just go ahead and trim this window if you want. You don't have to, but I... I'm going to put this on a card. We're making a really cute card. Eh? And so I didn't want that window in there. So I just went ahead around just like that, you know, and cut it out. So that's how I did that. So now I think we're pretty much caught up to speed. So now we're going to set this piece aside and we're going to finish up our other pieces. So I also stamped with this two of these because I'm going to pop these up and make the card a little bit more three-dimensional. So I have two of those and the dies right here I cut out in my die cutting machine. And then I made two wheels and I stamped those in white and you get two of those, two of those. See there's a, two different circles there and I did that in the memento and then I took my light basic black. I know the ends don't look black, but it's uh, light basic black and you'll just color those in. So I did one and I'll finish doing the other one. And then I stamped and cut out my pumpkins. So I cut those out and again I used the memento and then I grabbed my Old Olive Light Blend and my Dark Pumpkin Pie. So here's what this piece looks like. And I need to just finish coloring, focus, coloring this in. So I'm going to take my, I use the brush end mostly when I'm coloring unless it's something really 
small and then I'll use the other end. That's just my preference. So I colored it all in and then I went ahead and where the black lines are, I kind of did, I just put my marker down to try to define those a little bit. Did that a couple times. And my green is really light, so I'm gonna go in again on these little petals. So this is where I do need the other end and darken those up. So the background of this paper, I was thinking about doing that like shiplap background again, but then I decided to grab some brand new designer series paper that's coming out on September 4th in our holiday catalog. So we're going to cut that for the background, so I'll show you that in just a second. I have to actually cut it down. And speaking of which, if you need a holiday catalog, if you're, uh, I gave them out in my class this week, but this is what it looks like. I can't show you the inside yet, but if you need a holiday catalog, you're one of my customers, you order from me, you come to classes, let me know and I can have you a copy at one of my upcoming events or I can mail you one if you're long distance or if you order my online classes, I can slip that in as well. But our holiday catalog has some really, really cute things in there. And that's where this paper is. So the paper, so those are all our pieces that we need. I'll set that there. So this paper I'm gonna use for the background looks like this. Isn't this really pretty? This wood background. And then the back of it has some pumpkins and some little greenery. It's, I don't know why my camera isn't focusing very great tonight. But this is the background we're going to use. And it has some really, really pretty other paper in it as well. I'll show you real quick. But I love this paper. I've been designing my card club with it that is coming up next month. So if you haven't joined my card club and you want to, all the details are over at my website up there and you can join that. It's, and we're gonna be using this, featuring this paper in the card club as well as a different stamp set. Isn't that one so pretty too? I really like this paper. Here's the one I'm showing you right now. And then here, this one I love. It's It looks like almost a burlap type background with little faint polka dots so this could be used with so many things I think it is going to be very versatile and I think I showed you all the patterns so that's the new pack of paper that's coming this is the background so I need to grab my paper trimmer right here and cut this down because I changed my mind at the last minute so I'm going to cut this at Oh, what are we going to do? Let's do five by three and three quarters. So let me do three and three quarters this way. Yes. I'm making sure I'm cutting the right way before I make a mistake. And we're going to do five. And then I'm going to grab a early espresso right behind me and mat this to it. So, yes, Tammy, that paper, this paper, designer series paper is in the holiday catalog towards the back with the fall things. So the early espresso, I'm going to cut five and a quarter by four. And we're going to layer that together. Oh, Linda. Linda just commented and said that she has not crafted in 12 days and she's having withdrawals. I can understand why. That's a long time, but I had you, I hope you had a great time on vacation. So here's what we have so far. We're just going to layer that down with some snail that I know I grabbed. And we're going to assemble our truck and stamp that happy harvest. And this card will have a little bit of dimension with the tires and stuff being popped up. So here we have this and we're just going to layer this down. A 
like so. Okay, so we have this part just like this. I really like that paper. So now we're going to put our chalk uh, like here and then see these cute little pumpkins will um, kind of just tuck in the back like that. I guess we should assemble our truck first with some dimensionals. I had two sheets just a second ago. Here they are, and then I moved them. So I'm going to put a dimensional behind both of these, and then I'm going to stick this on over here like that. We'll do the other one. And this one goes up here like so. This is so cute. And then we will put our little tires down and those I will just put with a glue dot. Okay. So those are going right here and this one whoops is going right here oh and I have to show you my inspiration for this because last week I showed you it was a home decor project I made so there is an inspiration behind this as well so here's our cute little truck and you can see it has some fun little dimension there by cutting those pieces out. If you had the shimmer paint, the silver, you could paint a little bit of that on to get it really metallic-y. And, um, but anyway, it's really cute. Really, really cute like that. Okay, so now the next thing is we are going to, I'm going to add some glue in the back here of the bed of the truck. And then I'm going to stick this down this way. So I'm going to do that. Just add my glue right across the top there. Can you see that? And then take these cute little pumpkins and I'm just going to stick these down just like, just like that. And now I think I'm going to pop this up. Cause I like things popped up with lots of dimensionals. I order dimensionals every time I place a Stampin' Up order. I have to order, I order at least one. Usually I order multiples because I use them on pretty much every card in my classes. So we go through a lot. So I'm going to stick this cute little truck down here like this. And then we need our Happy Harvest stamp set, stamp. And I have a little banner here, or I did. Where did my banner go? So what color should the sentiment be? Should it be Coastal Cabana or should it be Pumpkin Pie? I'm not sure. So while I'm just going to show you, you can let me know what you think. The blue or the orange for the sentiment, Happy Harvest. So here is here's my inspiration for this card, this cute little mug that I picked up at the store. Isn't this so cute? Meet me at the pumpkin patch and it has a Bermuda Bay Coastal Cabana-ish truck with the pumpkins in the back. So you could color your pumpkins a variety of colors or different shades of orange, um, green, white, whatever. But this was my inspiration for this card anyway. Oh, here's my strip. So here I just have a half inch strip of cardstock, white and white. Okay, so let me see what the people are saying. Pumpkin pie, okay, pumpkin pie was my initial, and the reason why is because it was pump, the pumpkin color right there. So we're gonna try pumpkin pie. And this is a brand new stamp pad, and so I'm going to open it up and show you what you do when you get a brand new stamp pad if you do not have any of the brand new uh, versions yet. 
So on the bottom are some stickers. You're gonna carefully take off the top one that says pumpkin pie. And on the front cover here, you're going to attach this label down just like this. Okay, so then you have another label at the bottom here, the very, very bottom, and you're gonna carefully peel this one off and my friends are texting me right now. They must have forgotten that I do a Facebook Live every Wednesday night. And to open it, you just take your little thumb here in this little indent and you lift it straight up and then you slide it. And then in this little bar right here, that's where this little sticker goes. So when they're open, you can tell what color it is. So then you're just gonna place that sticker right in there like that. And that's how you put your brand new Stampin' Up! ink pads together. Okay, where now I here it is. I thought I lost my little words. Okay, so now we're going to stamp this and finish off this hopefully super cute card. So I have a one day retreat coming up in October and it's almost full because I always let the people that come the year before or the time before, sign up first. So I only have like three spots available and we're doing a fall theme. So I'm really excited about that. It's a one day retreat. And then I have another weekend retreat in October as well. And in September, we have a bingo coming up. And my list of events for September and October should be coming out any day I was waiting to get my daughter's soccer schedule and I got it today. So now we can finish up all of the other, my other classes anyway, and let everybody know. So here is our cute little banner here. It says, Happy Harvest. I do like it in the pumpkin pie. I really like it a lot. It really does pop with that Coastal Cabana truck. I think I'm going to make it a banner at the end. So if you have never watched me do this, you just take your little snips in the center and cut. I just eyeball it and then you go from the each side to the middle and you take out a little section and then you get pretty close to perfect banner. Just, whoops, just like that. Cute little banner. We're gonna put a dimensional behind it or two and then we're gonna put a little burlap bow on the side or linen thread bow, whatever I can find next to me. Actually, we might do this. We might put, uh, we can't really see it, it's almost the same width. So yeah, we're just gonna stick this down over here and then I'm going to take my burlap ribbon and I showed last week how you can pull the little thread out if you don't have linen thread. Make a little bow and attach it down with a glue dot. Okay, so we're almost done. And I hope, and so this truck you can also make for birthdays or just like general uh, with a balloon, like a celebration. You could just put a truck. You could probably use any of our stamps and add like a dog or a cat or different, um, different, I'm sure we have tons of stamps that you could put in the back of the truck as well as the tree for Christmas and the pumpkins for the fall. So here's my, I don't know if you can see my little bow and my glue dots are right here. We're going to add this down. And we're just gonna put this little bow right there like that. And there is our card. What do you think? You can give me a thumbs up or hearts or thumbs down if you do not like it, but I think it's cute. And it's hard to tell on screen, but there is a lot of dimension. This would look really cute. You could make a little shadow box picture frame and put, make a, like a home decor out of this as well. 
So if you would like to purchase this stamp set or anything from me, it is the end of the month. And this one comes with a bundle. So if you get this with the dies, you can save 10%. This is in our annual catalog, so you can purchase it right now. If you want to purchase it and use my host code, and if you spend at least $35 before tax and shipping through the, um, through the end of August, which is a few days, I'm going to send you a card with some brand new rhinestones, holiday rhinestones. I can't show you what they look like and I didn't grab them, but they are a package of rhinestones and they come in the colors Cherry Cobbler, Coastal Cabana, Night of Navy, Pumpkin Pie, and Shaded Spruce. So if anyone wants to place an online order using the host code right below through the end of the month, that's thirty at least 35 before tax and shipping, I will send you a package of those rhinestones. Now you won't get them until the middle of September because I have to wait till the catalog goes live to order them. And the holiday catalog goes live on September Fourth. So if you need a copy, let me know that as well. The last thing is if you want to join my team, Stampin' Up! has an awesome deal right now. It's called Extra Extra, and it's good in through the end of the month. And if you join, you can actually pre-order some of these awesome products in your starter kit. And the kit costs $99, and you get... Uh, some bonuses through August, I believe it's 155 you get to pick, and you just pay the tax and you get free shipping. So if you have any questions about that, you can let me know. I'd love to have you join my team. What, uh, we have a lot of people that just love to shop and get a discount and have fun. We have a pretty a growing team here in Michigan. I do a lot with my team. We have lots of fun. We have a private page and all of that fun stuff. But anyway, if you have questions about joining my team, let me know. If you have questions and need a holiday catalog, let me know that. And if you want to place your online order, you must use the host code. And if it's over that 35 mark, I will order you some rhinestones and get those out in the middle of September. I hope you enjoyed my card tonight. And if there's anything you want to see me do next week, let me know in the comments because I love to get different ideas. Have a great night, everybody. I will see you next week. Bye.